Hey y'all, I'm gonna show you what to do now that we have some beets roasted. So I roasted these in the oven at um, 400 for about 50 minutes or at least until they're tender. Didn't do much, just wrap them in foil and put them straight in the oven in the foil, no pan or anything. So now they've sat for a little bit to cool off and you're gonna see I can just sort of peel the skin off. It's super easy to use my fingers to peel it back. These are golden beets as you can probably see. Now we have our beet peeled for the most part. And then I'm just gonna take the root end off, or rather this is not the root end, this is the stem end. So I've taken the top off and then I'm just going to slice it in rounds. The thickness is kind of up to me as I wanna go. You can see it's got this really pretty golden orangey color to it. And these beets are very sweet, just like the other ones. So it's a really yummy root vegetable in the summertime. So. That's that. Hey y'all, clearly I've got some beets sitting here in front of me, so that's what we're gonna be talking about today. These are red beets. They will more than likely stain my fingers and probably stain my cutting board. It just is what it is. Uh, that's just kind of part of the, you know, the part of cooking. So I'm gonna show you a couple of different things. We, we have another video for roasted beets, so definitely check that out if you need to roast beets. But for just basics of what to do with the beet, you know, like with pretty much all of our veggies, right? We're gonna, we're gonna identify where the stem was and we're gonna go ahead and take that off. Again, it's just, it's, it's rough. It's where dirt gets trapped. Uh, with this one, you know, I might wanna, like I'm taking a look at it, right? There's this little like weird indent. So I'm gonna take that, just the very tip off and then I'm gonna just slice that one side, clean it up a little bit. All right, so. Now I have sort of done the sort of basic beginning steps of prepping my beet. Then from here I can do so many different things with it. I can just slice in half and then set it on its side and now do some slices like this. That's nice and easy. I could have sliced a big, a full slice off of this piece or after I slice, take, took it in half like that, I could put larger pieces, do larger pieces and then cut it into smaller pieces as needed. The last little technique I actually want to show you though with beet, they're so pretty even if they do stain everything, is shredding. Because every so often, that's a good thing to be able to do with your beet. So I'm gonna take it, it's easiest to usually start to shred on um, this side that's been cut open. And like with all things on my shredder, I just have to be careful of my hands and be wary of not not getting my fingers in there, sorry. Big pause on that sentence. Not getting my fingers in there. So I'm gonna shred a little bit. Everything's gonna be this like lovely red color for the rest of the day now. Um, so shred, 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 gotta get enough. And there we go, really, really pretty. Makes for simple, like quick cooking, but the thing is, is now that I've done that, I'm actually gonna go ahead and put it on a piece of this paper towel because I want to be able to take it. And if I had more, it would be a little bit more effective. But I'm gonna take that and I would actually then, you see how it's already staining it? I would actually squeeze it out. Um, like if you can see over the sink, I'm gonna just squeeze out that excess liquid. See how much <laughs> juice is getting there? And that just helps dry it out a little bit so now it's a little bit drier, and so when it cooks up, it's a little bit less wet, which um, is a benefit. So now everything looks like I've <laughs> I'm stained with beet juice. Let me go see if I can clean all this off. That's it for today. Hey y'all, I've got this big, beautiful thing of beets here, and that's because we're actually gonna talk about the beet greens. The beet uh, bulbs often get, or the, the root part often gets a whole lot of attention, this is what people think of when they say beet, but this is actually the beet root, this part. Uh, the whole plant is the beet. And, but the, you know, I know this is what we cook with a lot, this is what we roast, this is what we think of when we think of beets. But you could think of the beet greens as well. And there's great nutrition there, and they're just like any other green. So if we wanna add that variety, we gotta add those beet greens in there. Plus, we always love root to stem or root to leaf cooking, if we can get as much of the plant as we can, because there's different nutrients organized in different ways inside the plant. So it's more variety, the better, right? Really, really super simple to do when they're already bound up like this. Just chop them off. 
set those aside. And I like to leave the stem because with this stem for this vegetable, it's a lot easier to eat. It's not stiff and uh, or kind of stringy or difficult to eat. With other greens, I might take that middle piece out, but I really like to leave it for this one. It adds a little extra texture to it as well. Plus, it's really pretty. So. You could wash these greens if you really felt like you needed to. Um, you know, sometimes they do come to you a little bit dirty. This one actually looks like it might be a little bit dirty. So I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and run it under the water really fast. As I've said before with other things though, you know, it's kind of your call about how much dirt you want in your life. I like to have a little bit of dirt in my life, but if I can see that it's dirty, I'll go ahead and give it a quick rinse. Most of the veggies, by the time they hit the grocery store, they've been washed pretty thoroughly multiple times, so it's not super necessary to wash everything. Some people may disagree with me, but again, I don't mind a little dirt in my life. So, and especially if I've gotten it from a farmer that I know and I really like what they're doing and how they're, they're raising their stuff, you know, a little, bit, a little bit of dirt's good. Anyway, these are clean now, so it's lovely the way these work is all you have to do is you just start cutting. I don't have to do anything more fancy than this. I just wanna get the beet greens in sort of more usable pieces like that. If you're gonna keep them raw and use them that way, you might wanna cut, you know, make even smaller pieces still, right? Maybe cut, do a couple cuts like that. But for wilting purposes or for cooking purposes, cutting it like this is just fine because it's gonna go in there and honestly, all of this beet green, this lovely, beautiful beet green, is gonna cook down like you won't even imagine. <laughs> You're gonna start with this big bulk and it's gonna go super small. So again though, you can eat it raw, which is awesome too. Uh, I think that's it for beet greens.